practitioners. This is my video on Brecht and some of his techniques. So you can umbrella Brecht's techniques under the Verfremdungs effect or distancing effect, sometimes called the alienation effect. So he had lots of techniques that were designed and developed to distance the audience, to push them away. This is very different to most pieces of theatre that you watch or indeed films and movies that you watch. These are designed to suck you in, to have an emotional response, to follow that lead character and to have that cathartic experience and release at the end. So Brecht wants the absolute opposite of that. He wants you to stop, stand back from the action and think, why is this happening? Rather than, oh dear, this is very tragic. I'm very um, sucked in to this action. He wants you to consider why is it happening? So there's a few things he does to make sure that happens. Um, he will tell you what is going to happen before it happens so that you are not thinking, oh, what happens next? He will say to you, maybe with placards, um, maybe with the narration, this is the scene in which this happens, the one where whatever it is, is going to happen. So you already know what's going to happen. There are some other things he does to distance you. He was keen on staging um, sometimes in a square, like a, a boxing ring, so that the audience were all around the actors. This is to remind the audience that they are in an auditorium, they are watching a play and not real life because they can see other audience members. Um, another way he would do that would be to have some house lights on, not dim and blacken the audience so let them be aware that there are other audience members around them. Other things, um, he used song but not, he was quite a fan of opera I believe, but not the way in which we're used to using song emotively and the tune. Um, he would use it to sort of again drum in a message. His plays were very political, they had a political message and ideally wanted you to go out thinking, oh gosh, I need to do something about that, not just, oh, isn't that terrible or wasn't that tragic? I need to act, I need to take action after what I've seen and observed. Um, so I hope those techniques are useful. Um, drop me a comment and or a like. Let me know if there are some other techniques that you'd like to know. There are loads of other Brechtian techniques. There are loads of other practitioners. Please let me know which ones you'd like to hear about.